Hey there, I'm Hallie, and tonight we are starting with that dramatic situation happening as we speak in both L.A. and Miami Beach at the homes of Sean Diddy Combs. You know him as Diddy. Agents holding what look to be guns as they walk into the home, as they enter the home. How does one find themselves in a situation where the feds raid both your homes in search of something sketchy? Unless you're actually a criminal. More importantly, what does a rapper and global music industry sensation need underground tunnels for? Apparently, that's just how Sean Combs, or P. Diddy, is much like every other home in the upscale Los Angeles neighborhood of Hombi Hills. Sean Combs owns a $40 million LA home with eight bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, and a 35-seat theater, and its very own fitness studio. But what really stood out was a lagoon-style swimming pool with a grotto connected by an underwater swimming tunnel. As you all may know, Sean P. Diddy Combs has been involved in numerous amounts of lawsuits and allegations in less than four months. The rapper has been sued for sexual assault and harassment five times, and so his house has been raided by Homeland Security on Monday as part of an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. Diddy was nowhere to be seen as two separate raids in LA and Miami went down, where security barreled through his homes and escorted some people out in handcuffs. Two of them appeared to be Diddy's sons, Justin and King Combs. They were not being investigated in connection with their father's alleged crimes but were being detained outside as agents searched the property. The agents, who were wearing vests, gathered in the home's backyard near the pool. Multiple officers were seen carrying bags and boxes of evidence to a van with assistance from police dogs, and underground tunnels were indeed found. federal agents in and around the home working together with local law enforcement and from our chopper view we saw several people questioned outside of the home and some have even been detained there's a lot of activity out here choppers up above take a look at what we're seeing from the ground you can see that LAPD has blocked off this entire street which is now filled with media from around the world as well as onlookers Homeland Security Investigations or HSI out of New York says it executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation and from afar it looks like there has been a raid of one of the homes on this street. Take a look at the video from our chopper of the activity this afternoon. This is the 200 block of Mapleton Drive in the Holmby Hills area and you can see the large SWAT vehicles, federal agents and bulletproof vests and people detained in handcuffs outside of the home. This home is believed to belong to Sean Diddy Combs, or P. Diddy. A car at the home came back to Bad Boy Productions, which is his company. According to TMZ, P. Diddy's LA and Miami home are both being raided. The outlet says this appears to be tied to sex trafficking allegations, which have been levied against Diddy in recent months from different plaintiffs. There are several divisions here, including HSI Los Angeles, Miami, and local law enforcement, but this is being led, I'm told, by a division out of New York. Not a whole lot of information at this point. We don't know who's here at the house and whether or not P. Diddy himself is here. We did receive a statement from P. Diddy's accuser's attorney in response to reports of a search warrant that was, it, that was issued. It says, quote, we will always support law enforcement when it seeks to prosecute those that have violated the law. Hopefully, this is the beginning of a process that will hold Mr. Combs responsible for his depraved conduct. Fans may well have already seen the property's vast interiors and exteriors, with the father of seven previously sharing regular Instagram posts from the Holmby Hills residence he bought in 2014. The mansion is an eight-minute walk to the Playboy Mansion, who is also known to have tunnels. They were used by celebrities like Jack Nicholson, Warren Betty, and Kirk Douglas in 1970s, and Diddy may have purchased his current estate due to their presence. There is also the possibility that Diddy used these tunnels to go on about his evil deeds undetected. The discovery adds to everyone's curiosity and raises questions about what other secrets may be hidden beneath the surface. Hey there, I'm Hallie, and tonight we are starting with that dramatic situation happening as we speak in both LA and Miami Beach 
at the homes of Sean Diddy Combs. You know him as Diddy, formerly Puff Daddy, big time rapper, big time producer, big time superstar, and now the feds at his houses in both locations. This is a live look right now. On the left, that's West Coast, that's LA. On the right, that's Miami Beach you're looking at. I want to show you in just the last couple of minutes in LA, agents holding what look to be guns as they walk into the home, as they enter the home, and you can see some of the apparatus there that they've brought. I want to get to Dana Griffin, who is following this for us now. Why is this happening? What do we know? Ali, still, as you mentioned, this is a developing story, so we're learning new details minute by minute. NBC News has confirmed that this is a raid being conducted by Homeland Security and that the warrant specifically came out of the Southern District of New York. Now, we believe this is tied to sex trafficking allegations. There's an investigation into claims that he may have been, that the rapper may have been involved in this. So we believe this is connected to that. But obviously, what a split screen moment here to see investigations not only, not only in Miami, but also Los Angeles, which shows that this was very coordinated and planned. And remember, when it comes to warrants, these aren't things that are just, you know, done haphazardly. This had to be signed by a judge. So this was obviously very methodical. And this is a sprawling home here in California. This is located in the Holmby Hills area, a very wealthy area. That home that we can see from that sky cam is, is massive, sprawling. And we don't know exactly what they are looking for. It could be something as small as a USB drive, or it could be several boxes of documents that could prove or prove his guilt or prove his innocence. After federal agents raided the rapper's multi-million dollar homes in Miami and LA on March 25, sources with knowledge told NBC News March 26 that firearms were found at both properties. Additionally, Homeland Security investigations seized pieces of Com's electronic equipment including his hard drives. Com's phones were confiscated in Miami before he was scheduled to deport for a trip to the Bahamas. Ali Carter, a young woman, was brave enough to come forward with her story about the outrageous things that would happen in these tunnels. Yes, there was there were there were shrines used for rituals. There's there's bloody places. There's um, there's parts where there's uh, limbs. Uh, people cut off limbs and want you to have sex in it. There's blood. There's blood that I don't even know who it belongs to. Um, there's a lot. So, um, so hang on. So, so someone like the people that you've named are here at these shrines where there is human flesh, bones, human body parts, and they want people to participate in orgies in amongst all of this human blood. 
is that a satanic ritual feces is this a satanic ritual that they are participating in yes um yes there's people who want to there's down there there's people who have sex with animals um dead animals animals um i was i was taken um and told that i had to give a blow job to uh biden um so joe biden was there at this shrine mm-hmm. um something happened i don't know what happened i was down there for a while um there's certain people that you don't talk about uh because you just don't um there were certain people that i seen down there from beyonce jay-z um <laughs> uh you don't tell on p diddy but p diddy um so th- you said you you don't tell on these people is that is that like a code uh that all victims adhere to they don't talk about this stuff yes you don't because nobody's going to believe you um you're nothing to them you don't you you don't count you are you are just you're just a toy um you're not essential as they call them uh you, you're expendable and as a child in that situation i wasn't the type of person that was fighting all the time because i started to learn who i was i started to learn my pimp i started to learn what i was in i started to learn that you don't fight you you um you watch what you say you watch what you do and at, at at some point i stopped fighting people and i i started to accept the fact of what i was told that i was special enough to be with this person i was special enough to be in the eyes of a celebrity or somebody who was on the radio or on tv and i accepted that you wouldn't have a hard time believing these allegations after hearing such a detailed and graphic story diddy was also sued by former girlfriend r&b vocalist cassandra ventura in a lawsuit filed in federal court in november of engaging in sex trafficking she accused the rapper she once dated and whose music label she signed with of subjecting her to serial physical abuse sexual slavery and rape The lawsuit also accused Diddy of regularly beating Ventura over the course of a 10-year professional and romantic relationship in which he controlled her through intimidation and forcing her to take drugs and alcohol. Combs, through his lawyer, flatly denied the allegations. The next day, Combs and Ventura jointly announced they had settled the case out of the court. They said, We have decided to resolve this matter amicably. I wish Cassie and her family all the best. Love. The lawsuit by Ventura was one of at least four civil complaints brought in recent months leveling sexual assault allegations against Combs. Since his girlfriend came forward, there have been four other women who've accused City of similar offenses. A woman named Joey Dickerson Neal alleged in a lawsuit Combs drugged her, sexually assaulted her, and secretly recorded the assault while she was a college student in 1991. Another unnamed person accused the rapper of drugging the participating in a gang rape accuser was 17 years old. Combs has denied any wrongdoing and that ain't just a coincidence some have speculated that diddy knew something big was going to happen that all his wrongdoings were going to be uncovered so he had been planning to escape for months back in october diddy was present at the city of hope gala in west hollywood the usually energetic and social butterfly rapper was quieter than ever he was spotted acting lost confused and not engaging in any type of conversation with anyone whatsoever and what is more interesting is that people were also avoiding him they must have known that everything was going to come out about Diddy very soon and so making a getaway to Miami just in time. A video of the rapper pacing by himself outside the Miami Opaloka Executive Airport, observing that he did not appear to be detained or in custody, his private jet reportedly landed in Antigua without the rapper aboard, but it's no longer trackable on FlightAware, a flight tracking website. I guess you wonder what's going to happen next, Diddy. I know.
On March 27, the LA Times reported that the rapper remains in the US, though it didn't add any more details. Sources with knowledge of the situation said Gomes was scheduled on Monday to leave by plane for a spring break vacation with his school-aged daughters but decided to delay the trip after learning of the search. He still has his passport, they added. The paper observed. While his phone was set seized by the authorities, he returned to Instagram on Sunday to share a photo of his one-year-old daughter, Love, celebrating Easter. But this is far from over, because the series of allegations against Diddy don't stop there, and they go far beyond what once could even process. This man has done unspeakable things that have yet to be exposed. But don't worry, we're always on the look for a new lawsuit, and the celebrities who are associated with Diddy better watch out, because they're next.